Following quotations are taken from around the internet condemning the work of Eddie Sliman. These comments do not necessarily reflect the views of this channel. Please enjoy. Fashion is meant to be art. This is not art. This is overpriced, tight-fitting t-shirts and jeans. The only reason that fashion journalists even cover this stuff is because it makes so much money that they can buy up ad space. There is no real difference between Eddie's work at Dior, Eddie's work at Yves Saint Laurent, and Eddie's work at Celine. Doing coke with someone who hung out with Jimi Hendrix one time does not qualify you to be a designer. Oh man, I wonder what the next Celine show is gonna be like. I wonder if it'll most Mostly be skinny jeans and tight shirts and an emphasis on black. Hey Eddie, what's it like to be the only brand that copies H&M instead of the other way around? These following comments are taken from around the internet praising the work of Eddie Sliman. These comments also do not necessarily reflect the views of this channel. Oh, yeah, you caught me. I guess I do like clothes that are cool and flattering. Fuck me, right? And, and what's the alternative, by the way? Should I just like get with whatever designer you guys really like? People do not have to design literally unwearable clothes in order to be good designers. Wouldn't that kind of like make them bad designers? How is it Eddie Sliman's fault that no one else can come up with cooler clothes than him? Also, guys, I really love my Wyatt boots and they were really expensive. Please don't be mean to me. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. My name is Bliss Foster. Welcome back, everyone. Today we're talking about whether or not Eddie Sliman sucks. YouTubers are known for their time wasting and their waffling, so for anybody who just clicked on this expecting to get a quick answer, I will tell you this. It's complicated, Chief. You should get a longer attention span. Eddie is an extremely controversial topic. Like you're either in this place where you would maybe yell something mean at him if you saw him on the street, or you own 18 things by him and repost his photography on your secret Instagram page. Like everybody either absolutely loves him or absolutely hates him. And I gotta admit that before I started the planning for this episode, I was in the absolutely hates him camp. But this position that I'm in as a fashion journalist kind of makes it where I can't just have empty opinions. It's like, oh word, he sucks? Why does he suck, Bliss? And I'm like, you know, he just, like, he, he sucks. Gonna try to hold myself to a higher standard there. Eddie didn't always garner this level of hate and controversy. His time at Dior was a pretty revolutionary time. Everybody was praising the collections. Most of the public was really into this idea that Dior denim was the greatest thing of all time. I pretty firmly believe that a lot of young men got into fashion in the first place because of Eddie's work at Dior. The hate started to build up when he switched over to Yves Saint Laurent, rebranded it as Saint Laurent Paris, and then kind of started showing the same stuff. And now after a universally rousing success at Saint Laurent Paris, he has moved to Celine, where he has changed what a lot of people feel was a very expressive house into another Eddie land. And on the other side, of course, there are just people who are like, I, I, but I like this, like this is really cool. After thinking about this a good bit and kind of forcing myself to come to a conclusion on it, I have come up with this. Eddie is a master of product and there really isn't anything wrong with that. All that means is that he's really dialed in his vision and to be honest, he absolutely crushes it. Like, I mean, the numbers alone demonstrate that he does crush it. He is very good at his job. That's why he's getting these new positions. That's why he's kind of able to get as big of a budget as he wants for all these shows and all of these campaigns. But even beyond that, I think it's pretty clear to see when you go into the stores and actually look at the clothes and stuff. It's just like, man, this guy has got this down. And there's not anything wrong, honestly, with designers focusing in on what they do and doing it super well and devoting their career to making it slowly better. We spent a lot of time on this channel talking about Martin Margiela. Martin, honestly, was doing mostly the same thing. Now, granted, Martin was introducing an entirely new era of fashion, but even if you take any designer like Craig Green or Comme de Garçon or Martin Margiela, those people have carved out a space for themselves and they spend their careers exploring that space. Granted, Eddie is not trying to transform the scope of what fashion can be the way that Martin Margiela did and Ray Kawakubo is still doing and Craig Green is still doing, but designers don't have to do that. It's unfair for us to hold every designer to the standard of designers that happen to catch the zeitgeist perfectly and change history. That will be a frustrating expectation for all involved. So in the same way that I'm not going to Charles Jeffrey Loverboy to replace my dickies, I'm not going to Eddie expecting a fashion revolution because that's not what he does. Eddie makes jeans and boots and jackets that encapsulate the feeling of classic American coolness. Now, even as I say this, I'm, I'm gonna get really vulnerable with you guys for a second. Even as I say this, there's still this emotional thing happening inside of my body whereby I wanna be like, but fuck that guy. Even though I have laid out this reason that I think is a pretty good reason as to why we shouldn't hate on Ace Lamont, I still have this emotional like 
gut feeling of like, oh, this makes me so mad though. And I was trying to figure out what that actually is because anger and frustration are not like isolated emotions, right? They're always connected to fear. Which, pause, anytime you're feeling very angry, you should stop to explore what it is that you are afraid of because those emotions are always going to be connected. You should also, at those times of anger, stop and consider what anger feels like inside of your body and reflect on the physical sensation of it. This message is brought to you by Mindfulness and Meditation. I think that Eddie taps into a really carnal fear that a lot of us have in this community about the disappearance of art from fashion. A lot of us look at the way that the world used to be when there were all of these couture houses that were making clothes for clients and making these beautiful intricate dresses and stuff and we see the world changing in a lot of ways farther and farther away from that. It's becoming less artful to make clothes now. And Eddie seems to be sort of the core of that problem because, or at least he seems to be a core of that problem because he's doing very normal clothes in an environment that we still consider to be the last bastion of artful fashion and that is Paris runway shows. Like, even if fast fashion is taking over the world, and even if I can't wear crazy expressive clothes in my normal life, at least twice a year I get to look at these shows and daydream about this incredible medium of art. And then at the center of that medium of art is someone who is selling things that look like they are for sale at your local suburban mall. Right? Am I close? I have those same feelings too. I just don't think that that frustration is well placed. Eddie is expressing himself like everybody else that's on the Fashion Week calendar. It's just that his expression is focused in a different direction with different priorities than other artists. And it's honestly really unfair for us to try to like objectively list out like which priorities in art are better than other priorities in art. Stuff like that just never works out well. So here's hoping that the people at Celine actually watched this video and did not just look at the title. More than anything else in the whole world, I like comments. So let's get some discussion going. Let's actually talk about this thing. Let's talk about Eddie. Let's talk about art and holding people to standards and making requirements for what kind of art they should be making. If you came here just to watch me thrash Eddie, I hope you turned it off in the first 15 seconds. To everyone else, welcome. You really should join the Patreon so that I can make this this my full-time job and give you more content. Like I wanna be putting out like two episodes a week type shit, like this is gonna get crazy. It starts at $3 a month, you get a lot of exclusive content and you literally get to enjoy the greatest community for fashion online in existence. Also come say hi to me on Instagram and Twitter. I honestly do love talking to everybody. I hope you would actually say hi, my DMs are always open.